host made short work of Satan and those who were loyal to him. Soon, Johnny was the new ruler of hell. Kinda pretty, isn't it? Yeah, it kinda is. Do you miss your friends? Nah, I know they'll be down here in no time. I never say this to the boss. Sometimes I wish I could just start over. Tabula rasa. Whole new plot. Entirely different life. I kinda wanna keep... Is that you? Yes, now keep your voice down before someone hears you. 
the fuck are you doing in there? You think anyone buys fast food in hell? It's a front. I've been stashing resources at the branches all over hell. Swing by all three and you'll have enough components to build a weapon. Can I still get a taco? You don't want the fucking taco, now get out of here. Don't you guys take the hit? Gas prices aren't half bad.
gets easier every time. This all hell's got to offer. God! on the demon killing train years ago. Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 39. The Legionnaires. Second only to the Archdukes, the Legionnaires purposefully wear less armor so that they may embrace every aspect of pain on the back. Anyone got a mop? Ah! And now a quick drop off. You didn't need that, did you? A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 2. Promotion. You can never dash dreams without hope to build them in the first place. Which is why I offer you a way out of the simple life of a husk. When a soul is deemed worthy, he is given a demon body, a gun, and an incredible sense of pride. Naturally, after years of torment from the demonic horde, they are all eager to be on the other end of punishment. 
They become the personification of cruelty and ruthlessness, as I intended. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 28. First Aid. Periodically, you may get injured and seek first aid. You may find this to be problematic, as ambulances in hell get paid a premium to run over people instead of helping them. Note to self, find a way to control light. Gah! All day. This treasure better be worth it. This should be useful. I led Hell's army in the last war. I warned Satan that we didn't have the forces for a prolonged conflict, but Satan demanded action. Ever the soldier, I obeyed. But despite my best efforts, the angelic host decimated my forces, just as I said they would. Satan was outraged and blamed me for his poor judgment, and sentenced me to eternal torture. Lecter kinda sucks at hiding these things. Defensible? Good visibility? I could have some fun here. Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 22, The Spires. Our aerial defenses are a precious commodity and are only to be deployed upon angelic threat. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 5, On Hoarding Sins. Some of the more frugal of the damned take all their worldly possessions with them when they travel, fearful of leaving things behind where they can be taken. I've made it incredibly easy for you to spot those individuals, so you may mug them and capture the sins for yourself. I tried to escape that insidious prison time and time again, but it was useless. The wheels on the bus kept going round and round. 
Round and round. Round and round. Dane, you there? Took you long enough. Here's the next part. Returning home was not the experience I had hoped it would be. It was desecrated by lost souls that thought it would be fun to throw events on my property while I was away. I hope the beer pong games were worth it to them. Because when I find them, they will all beg for the mercy I will never give. The fifth of my control has since fallen into disrepair since my incarceration. But the land and all the souls that reside there are still my responsibility. My subjects will at first be loyal to fear, but after they obey, they will see that I can be a magnanimous ruler, and their lives will be better for my involvement. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 18. Dimensional Communications. There are many ways to sow horror on the mortal plane. While haunted VHS tapes have fallen out of vogue, there are still a multitude of ways for our demons to communicate with and torment your loved ones. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 4. Keeping your city clean. As is imaginable after an influx of souls from an exploding Earth, some souls slip through the cracks. These unrefined souls litter our fair city and could be a quick source of upward mobility to an individual who finds as many as they can. While the promise of economic mobility seems promising and not hell-like, naturally such prizes are highly contested and are the source of many conflicts. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide Chapter 21 Transportation the price of vehicles in Hell often bar all but the most enterprising souls to acquire one. Yes, they are often stolen. Yes, they have a tendency to spontaneously combust. But the thrill of driving with the windows rolled down even for a day can be worth the decades it takes to afford a new one. Oh, and we also don't offer insurance. Gotta get to that chest now that I've found all the glyphs. Damned Souls Orientation Guide Chapter 40 Shadow Demons Relentless Assassins The Shadow Demons teleport from rooftop to rooftop ensuring that there is no place to run to in hell. The Coming of the Dark Legion Rises!
this all hell's got to go! Forgot about you? A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 15. The Powerful. You'll notice a few souls that don't look like the others. These damned citizens have paid enough wages of sin as tithes to transform their appearance into one reminiscent of their former life. Doubt they have enough room in that building to fit all the politicians in hell. I'm coming for ya.
Far be it for me to tell the devil how to do his job. But if I was running things, this thing would have guns. Lots and lots of guns. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 30. The Halo. Forged by God himself, my Halo was a repository of great power. I spent millennia harnessing its might, and even then, I barely scratched the surface of what it was capable of. I can smell the taint of humanity. A Damned Souls Orientation Guide, Chapter 6. Soul Drain. Runaway sins are attracted to these drains, so that every unclaimed penny can fill my coffers. I also enjoy dancing shows, and found the name I write. Another clue. This better be good. I was never destined for obscurity, but no theater company would even entertain the idea of putting on my works, preferring to read plays written by lesser men. To them, I was a laughing stock. A fool who only wrote base comics. I was willing to give anything to have my works be given the credit they were due. Some may question if selling my soul was worth it. Obviously those people never met Marlowe. Welcome to Tacos Marlowe's. Would you like our special today? Is that the gun? Jesus Christ, you are terrible at being discreet. Now what made you think I'd be good at it? That's a good point. Enjoy the weapon. 